Good morning. Today we are going on another adventure. <laughs> Just uh, trying to make the most out of our time in Wyag and discover some new places. So I've been looking on the maps again and there's another big sort of inlet, outlet that goes to the ocean up in the um, northeastern corner of Wyag. And I haven't gone and discovered that yet. So it's high tide now, pretty much, maybe just past. But we're going to go up there. It's quite a dinghy ride, but we'll go and check it all out and uh, film some of it and show you what it's like. So we've come ashore at this beautiful little beach in the north end of Wyag and uh, straight away Marie goes into shell collecting mode. It's uh, pretty cool though, beach combing, just looking around all the cool little bits of coral and stuff you can find and um, she's probably going to start making some jewellery with it at some stage when she's found enough. So this is a little uh, fisherman beach again, all the nice beaches around here they've got little camps made up on them you can see and I think it's for sort of uh, roving families of fishermen I think that's all they do is just spend a month here and then go to the next beach and they dry their fish and every now and again they'll take it down and sell it somewhere and that's their life I don't think they live anywhere else so it's pretty cool and a uh, pretty nice place they get to live <laughs>
we're packing up to leave now. So as part of the packing up, I thought I would answer a question of one of my viewers. John McEntee, McEntee, hope I got that right, asked a little while ago, and I promised I would answer and I haven't until now, but here we go. How do I load my dinghy as I don't have davits and he didn't see a lifting system? So I'm going to get Marie to film while I put my dinghy on the front of the boat. Here you go, enjoy. This is a little how-to. So I use this, I use my topping lift, which is the yellow one, and then I put this two to one, oh no, what is it, four to one pulley system to make it easier to lift. I've got one little rope tied to the front of the dinghy, and then two on the back to make a triangle. And I can do all this really easy by myself, that's the whole point, to make systems that work for when you're solo sailing. So now, this has a little locker on the top, so once it's pulled it won't come loose again. Before I start pulling up, I pull the bung out so it starts draining of water. We had some rain last night. I'll just wait here and let it drain out completely. Take the fuel can out. So my fuel canister goes down the back here. I'll show you where I put that. So I have watertight bulkhead across the back of the boat. So all the fuel and spare canisters and stuff go in here and no fumes get into the boat. So it's a um, pretty handy place. I don't have to tie things on deck. So this is, just comes over the rail. It's just long enough. And then I sit it down here. I don't need the pulley anymore because the heavy lifting's done. And I, when I'm sailing sort of short distances, I won't even take this off. I just hook it down onto the the rail here, pull it tight, and then it just stays there ready for next time. Next, just take the engine off. I have this waterproof rusty lock that I bought three years ago and it's still going. So the lock just goes through this tightening handles. That's a bit stiff. But this way the handles, well first no one can steal the, the engine, but also the handles can't come loose by themselves and I'll just lose overboard. So it's a real, I mean it's obviously made for that, it's probably no big uh, surprise that you do that, but maybe some people don't know about it. Thing is nice and light now. This thing only weighs slightly over 20 kilos, 26 kilos or something. So I had this custom made that it would fit in this spot and that I could still open the hatch because opening the hatch at night is the air conditioning. If I had a bigger dinghy it would have just come over the hatch and I couldn't open it. So it was a pretty big uh, consideration for me. Then I flip it over. push it up to the mast and that's where it sits. Okay, the next part is tying it down. Obviously that's a really important part because you don't want to, if a squall comes or you're getting into some rough water, you don't want to be trying to rescue a dinghy that's half flying over the side or probably destroyed your, your safety rails or whatever. So you want to tie it down good and be prepared for anything. So I used to use uh, sort of like motocross tie downs, ratchets, to tie the dinghy down. And they work good, you can really get a lot of pressure. But the problem was that they, after a couple of months they would start rusting. 
and uh, be hard to ratchet but just leave stains all over the deck. Look here, this is one still an old rust mark from the last ratchets. Can't get rid of it. So I got rid of them when they stopped working and now I just use rope. And I use this thin woven rope, it's uh, strong. And I use something called the trucker hitch. Um, should I show you how to do this knot? Yeah, come on, come in closer and have a look. So the trucker hitch is good, it's just a pull through knot. First you put the, the loose end over, make a cross, take this part, pull it up into a loop, make another loop on the top end, twist it twice, put the first loop through, and then pull the loose end. And so now we ended up with two loops. And you can really put a lot of purchase on it. It's the same like a ratchet, really. You can put a lot of purchase on it and then just knot it right there. So you might have to watch through that knot tying process a couple of times to get the trucker hitch. But it's a really, really handy uh, knot. One that my brother Jerry showed me because he used to drive trucks. Yeah, real good knot. And now the thing is, Pretty secure, but I have three points to tie it down. The other two points go through the, the front part of the dinghy here. So that's creating a triangle here, and that's holding the whole front down. And see, I've already got the trucker hitch there from last time. The cool thing about the trucker hitch is you can just pull it and it comes undone. There's no actual knot. So it's a really handy one. So loop, loop twisted twice, pull that through. Pull the loose end, and there you go. Put a bit of pressure. Bang. Same with this side. Through the loop. That's it, super secure. Uh, that won't move. If I'm crossing a ocean, I'll probably let a bit of the air out of this just to give it more of a foot footprint. Um, just to get it a bit lower and just to spread it out a bit, I'll let half the air out, but I'll use the same system to tie that down. Then what I do with the hatch is just open it. And I've just got this little piece of cord here attached to the front of the dinghy and just hook that over there and then the hatch stays up at night. Everyone has a different boat and everyone f figures out different ways of doing things. But I like to just find these little, well, these days you call them life hacks I guess, but they're just little, little shortcuts and ways to make your life easier. Like I never take this one off, it just goes in the water, but I just, it's just there every time. The ropes I just leave here, everything's sort of sorted out and bang, it's all tied on. Five minutes later you're on your way. So yeah, figure out your own little life hacks, but I hope you can use this and maybe make it work on your boat or just get some inspiration from that. Thanks John for the question, I hope this answered your question. See ya! Well I hope you all enjoyed this latest episode of Learning by Doing. Um, great times here in Wyag, even get to go to the hairdresser salon. There's a special beach here. It's uh, pretty expensive, but then what do you expect in you know remote part of the world? Thank you very much, hairdresser Marie. Uh, I might show you afterwards how it works out, but we'll see about that. Uh, thanks again to all my patrons. You're all the best lot out there. You really motivate me and give me good feedback and, uh, and the support. All, all the money that's building up in the patron account, I haven't taken any of it out. That will be going towards um, buying my new mainsail at the end of this season. And it's looking like, um, yeah, pretty pretty much there already. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Um, next week, we will still be in Wyag. We're planning on being here a little while. Well, probably just one more week, actually. And we've got a few other little islands to visit after. But we've got a couple of good adventures for next week. And um, yeah, stay tuned for that. If you enjoy the video, please share it with your friends. It's the best way you can help this channel grow. Obviously, commenting and thumbs up is great as well but sharing it with your friends sharing it with anyone who you think might enjoy this little adventure that we're both on that would be very much appreciated 
And uh, yeah, see you again soon. Bye-bye.